Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Tom's Gadget Garage. In today's video, we're gonna be doing a full range test with the Punk Rider Pro. Now, Punk Electric does state that this scooter will get upwards of 35 miles of range while riding around in mode two, which has got a top speed of 20 miles an hour. So we're definitely gonna be putting that to the test today here on the Powerline Trail in Arizona. Now, of course, this scooter does have three driving modes. Mode one will get us up to 13 miles an hour. Mode two will get us up to 20 miles an hour. And mode three will get us to the maximum speed of this scooter, which is 32 miles an hour, which I am happy to confirm is a real figure. We actually did in our first impressions ride a speed and acceleration test. And we were able to hit that top speed of 32 miles an hour in approximately 17.1 seconds as uh, measured by the draggy performance monitor. Now we will be measuring our ride today with Garmin GPS to be as accurate as possible. Now I will be checking in every few miles to give a quick update on battery bars remaining, distance traveled, all that fun stuff. Uh, but uh, anyways, this scooter's got 18 amp hour, 52 volt battery. So it'll be interesting to see what we can get range wise on this scooter. A lot of times manufacturers will state theoretical ranges which are based on you know riders of a certain weight riding in very specific conditions and so oftentimes i would say more often than not actually real world uh, range is very different uh, than what the manufacturers claim because people have you know different weights they ride in different terrain you know hilly terrain flat terrain any variance will impact uh, the range that you can get Around the middle section of this trail, we do have a pedestrian bridge, which will give us an idea of what some of the hill climbing ability of this scooter is. But uh, of course, we will be putting this to the real test when we take this up on both of our hill climb tests that we've got planned uh, later this weekend, as well as the following weeks. Now for this ride today, we will be riding around in dual motor mode. Nice thing about the Punk Rider Pro is it gives you the option to choose between single motor or dual motor. So if you're looking to, you know, extend out range, you know, minimize battery consumption, you might cruise around in single motor mode. But uh, we'll be doing dual motor mode because that's how this scooter is designed. All right, so cruising around off the beaten path here. Uh, this is hard packed dirt and so far doing really well. Now, as I mentioned in uh, my previous videos, this scooter does have, you know, full suspension. Although its suspension is a little bit different. It's not your typical coil spring or hydraulic suspension. It's actually got uh, rubber cartridges in the front and the back. And so, so far I've been pretty impressed with the performance of it. Now, of course, rubber cartridges aren't gonna perform at the same level as hydraulic suspension, but they can definitely get the job done. So when we go on a little more uh, rough terrain up ahead, we'll see how these perform. All right, got some horses here. All right, so here's some more bumpy terrain. Uh, you know, the rubber block suspension does a good job of absorbing. It doesn't absorb at all. All right, so quick check in here. We are officially at four miles on this ride and we've still got five out of five bars remaining. Lots of people out and about today. All right, so we are officially at six miles on this ride, and we've still got five out of five bars remaining, riding around in dual motor mode. All right, so we are riding around on the outskirts of the downtown Gilbert area. And we are clear, all right. And we are slowly heading into the area where we're gonna have our pedestrian bridge. That's just up ahead, so we'll see how this scooter performs on that. Now, of course, we're gonna be going up this pedestrian bridge in mode two. All right, no problem. Actually, it feels like we're accelerating up the hill right now. And no problem maintaining 20 miles an hour. So solid performance. Now, one thing that I've forgotten to do over the last 
Oh, lizard. Oh my gosh, that was a close call. We came within like two feet of hitting that lizard. Good thing we had uh, some solid brakes on our hand there to slow us down a little bit. But uh, anyways, what I was mentioning is that uh, on this scooter, you know, we've also got this regenerative brake here, which is a little far from my thumb, but uh, when we engage it, you know, it slows us down. So if you need to make, you know, gradual, uh, you know, reductions in speed, that's a great way to do it. But so far, this is a very smooth ride. This is actually a very enjoyable scooter to ride around on. It's got a comfortable riding position with these swept back uh, handlebars. I really do like that. A lot of times scooters have, you know, straight bars, which is, you know, fine, but this I feel like is a more ergonomic riding position. It's also got, you know, very nice handling, very comfortable, nothing unpredictable. Uh, very in control of this scooter. So pleasantly surprised so far. Okay, so for those of you keeping track, we are officially at eight miles on this ride and we've still got five out of five bars remaining. Looking at voltage, we're at 55.3 volts. So once we get to about three bars or so, around 52 volts maybe, we'll, uh, we'll get us turned around. But so far, so good on some of my commuter scooters. You know, I typically lose that first bar somewhere around the six and seven mile mark. So now we're above and beyond eight miles and we've still got all of our bars. All right, so we're gonna go over the train tracks here. Another little test of the suspension on this scooter. No trains, clear on the left and right. And here we go. Okay, not bad at all. We are now past the 10 mile mark and we have still got five out of five battery bars remaining. Now we've got a little bit of a development here. We're at about 10.9 miles, so just south of 11 miles, and we've officially lost our first bar. So we are now four out of five bars remaining. So we'll see how far these uh, bars start dropping off after that first one, you know. 10, 11 miles for that first bar is quite a bit, to be honest with you. So we'll see how long it's gonna take for that second bar to drop off. Now up ahead in the distance, I don't know if you can see it on the GoPro, but we've got South Mountain and uh, that's where we do our hill climb tests. Nine and a half miles of incline, you know, upwards of 10% grade. I think it's a little bit steeper in some sections towards the end, but that'll be a great test. We'll go uh, test this out on three different lookout points up there. See if it has what it takes from an endurance perspective to make it to the top. All right, we got a little bit of a freeway overpass here. Noisy, people getting out and about early in the morning here on Saturday. Anyways, we will continue on our journey. All right, so we are at the 14 mile mark. I went ahead and got us turned around and heading back in the direction where we started from. Uh, reason being, uh, you know, we did hit about 53, you know, high 52 voltage range. So uh, I want to make sure that, uh, you know, we have, uh, you know, as best a shot at getting back to where we started from without having to walk this. All right, nice little water feature here on the canal. And of course, there's our trusty Punk Rider Pro. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, hop back on and continue this journey. Quick little update here. We have passed the 17 mile mark and we've still got four out of five battery bars remaining. Now this 18 amp hour battery with 52 volts, we've got 936 watt hours of capacity. So uh, anyways, we should be able to get decent range out of this scooter. All right, we're heading right on back over the train tracks. A little rubber cartridge suspension in action there. All right, so quick development here. We're at about 20 miles into this ride and we've lost another bar. So we are now at three out of five bars remaining. We've been riding for about an hour and 20 minutes at this point and uh, looks like we've got 51.4 volts. So definitely making good progress. There we go. Still in speed mode two. And we're, we're holding strong at 20 miles an hour, so really good performance on the hill climb here. And coming over the top, we are now heading back down. Good opportunity to test out our brakes. That's our manual brakes. And then of course, this is our regen brake, which, you know, on, a, on a something steep like this, you know, as you can see, it does slow you down a bit. Uh, it's not going to get you to a halting stop or anything like that, but, you know, 
you've got a long downhill that you kind of want to just, you know, coast down, you can use that regen brake and put some uh, battery, some juice back into your battery. All right, a little water feature here to the left. We'll have another one straight up ahead. And there's our little waterfall feature here on the left. Nice to see water in the desert. Now I've got a feeling that we're gonna have plenty of battery remaining by the time we get back to our destination. So I'm taking a little bit of a detour here. Squeeze in some extra range. What's nice here is that you've got these nice wide bike lanes. Yeah, always nice to see some places that don't have bike lanes at all. You know, survival of the fittest at that point. Really nice morning to be cruising around. That's for sure. Okay, so we just crossed over the 23 mile mark and we've still got three out of five bars remaining. So that's kind of the limitation of this uh, rubber suspension. So back there I ran over, you know, kind of a little rough, kind of abrupt spot in the road there. Uh, and you can definitely feel it through the scooter. Here's our speed, 20 miles an hour. And the scooter says 20 miles an hour as well. So pretty accurate. <laughs> All right, since we're doing really good on range, we're going to take a little bit of a detour here. A little gravel there, see if we can make it up this. No problem. We're going to go along this path, see where this goes for a bit. Hold on, low hanging trees here, crouch. Uh, all right. Figure since we're doing so well on range, we'll cruise around, you know, take a route that we normally wouldn't take which is always a nice thing when you have a scooter that's got ample range capacity. You know, it allows you to kind of go off and explore other places without worrying about whether or not you're gonna have enough juice to get home. I'll tell you, you know, before I got into, you know, riding scooters and e-bikes, you know, I didn't know half the places existed around here. And so, all right, we got some nasty looking water here. There we go. IPX6 right there, baby. <laughs> Anyways, I had no clue a lot of these uh, bike paths existed and, you know, running paths and all that fun stuff, which would have been really nice to know when I was practicing for my marathon. All right, we'll go back through our little river crossing. Oh, crouch down. There it is. Oh, yeah. Look like some nasty water. You know, with the water resistance rating here, you know, riding around in rainy conditions, things like that, you shouldn't have any issues, a little puddle like that. All these low hanging trees, I didn't know I'd be doing squats today. Now, if you're still with me, we just crossed the 27 mile mark and uh, we've been riding for about an hour and 51 minutes. We've got now, it looks like two out of five battery bars remaining, we just lost one. And we're hanging around about 50 volts on the battery. All right, we've got another one of our bridge crossings here. Make sure we fit in. Don't want to hit our handlebars on these bollards. back off the beaten path. Looks like we've got some mud here. All right, so one thing I do want to mention is this is a very comfortable ride. I mean, we're, we're pushing 30 miles almost at this point, and I'm not fatigued or anything. Uh, these hand grips are actually really quite comfortable. These are the, you know, double locking uh, ergonomic hand grips that they've got on this scooter, and uh, I can probably do double the miles before I have any fatigue in my uh, hands. So really, really surprised by the comfort of these. Um, you know, in terms of my legs and everything, I, I'm comfortable. I can keep on going. The only thing that's gonna stop me is the capacity of this battery. So uh, anyways, really nice ride so far. All right, now quick update for everybody. We are officially at 30 miles. We've been riding for about two hours and three minutes at this point. 
We've got one out of five battery bars remaining. So one out of five, we just lost one. And uh, voltage currently sitting at 48.5. So what we're probably gonna do here is uh, take a little detour through one of these neighborhoods, bleed off some of this range. And then uh, we will begin our way back to where we started. All right. Time to get uh, lost in some random neighborhoods. All right, so now that, you know, we are on that last battery bar, we are still able to maintain 20 miles an hour, so that's not an issue. Got little uh, water features out here. Very nice. All right, so we are pretty much at the point where we started, about half mile away. And we've still got that uh, single bar remaining. It's not blinking or anything, so seems like we've still got juice in the tank all right so we've got a new development here the battery bar is blinking we're still able to maintain 20 miles an hour and we are officially 34 miles into this ride we've been cruising around for two hours 17 minutes on this glorious saturday morning so yeah i'm, I'm just gonna say it like i am completely impressed uh, with the range that we've been able to get so far on this scooter. Punk Electric does say upwards of 35 miles in speed mode two. But you know, anytime, you know, manufacturers, you know, post those range estimates, you're usually not able to get those. A lot of times 60 to 70% of those posted ranges. And uh, here we are on the cusp of actually attaining the advertised range in speed mode two, 35 miles. And, you know, I don't know if I mentioned it earlier in this video or not, but I weigh in with gear just north of 203 pounds. And, uh, you know, a lot of times they do their testing with much lighter riders, usually in the 165, 170 pound range. So, you know, the fact that we're able to squeeze out, what are we at, 34 miles on a single charge so far, that is absolutely impressive. So, you know, I might have to follow this up with another range test, let's say, in speed mode three. Uh, you know, we'll see, you know, we've got a, quite a busy schedule up ahead with hill climb tests and, you know, other things, feature overviews. And, you know, we've got a bunch of other scooters that we're also in the progress of uh, reviewing right now. But, uh, you know, we'll see. We might have to do more range tests because this is absolutely a pleasure of a ride. I mean, I can keep going. You know, it's very comfortable. You know, no issues with comfort on this scooter. You know, the suspension for being a rubber cartridge suspension is, is doing quite well. You know, it's not the smoothest thing over, uh, you know, aggressive bumps, but it gets the job done. So anyways, really impressed so far. All right, so I did uh, log into the app here real quick, and it does say that we've got about 2% battery remaining. So uh, I'll cruise around this parking lot here again. We'll head on out and we'll uh we'll call it a day uh we've officially crossed by the way that 35 mile range mark which means it is official we've hit the advertised range in speed mode 2 on the punk rider pro it's absolutely impressive now and with two percent battery remaining we're still got a little bit of a zippy ride here so Pretty impressive. I mean, we're still hitting 20 miles an hour in speed mode too, with almost nothing left in the tank. Squeeze out a little more range. And as soon as we get back, we'll uh, let this scooter cool down for a couple hours. We'll put it back on the charge and get it uh, juiced up to 100% again for our hill climb test tomorrow. Now, it's either gonna be South Mountain or it's gonna be that new brute strength hill climb test. I'm not sure which one yet. Now, generally speaking, you don't wanna run your battery down this far uh, if you can help it. But uh, anyways, we're demonstrating the extremes of this scooter today, so we'll, we'll run it down even more. All right, I mean, we're, we are still cruising around at 20 miles an hour without an issue. And it gets up to speed, no problem. But uh, what I'm gonna go ahead and do is, you know, listen to the app. I've got the battery bar blinking. The app is telling me 2%. So uh, I'll turn back around and we'll call it. 
All right, folks, so there you have it. That was our range test with the Punk Rider Pro. We were actually able to get more than the advertised range, which is 35 miles in speed mode two. We actually got 36.34 miles on this ride with an average moving speed of 15.9 miles an hour. Uh, we were cruising around for two hours, 26 minutes, and uh, had a total elevation gain of 669 feet. So overall, really impressed with the performance on this scooter. As I mentioned earlier, you know, most of the times scooters don't get anywhere near their advertised range. So very happy to see that. And you know, for riding around for two hours and 26 minutes, aside from the heat, I feel fantastic. Very comfortable ride. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and get this thing charged up for our hill climb test tomorrow. So stay tuned for that. If you haven't subscribed, consider doing so. That way you get those updates. Uh, now, one other thing I want to mention is if this is a scooter that you're interested in, I will include links uh, and coupon codes in the description below. So not only can you save yourself some money on this scooter, but you can help support this channel and keep the wheels moving on future reviews. Now, if you have any questions, comments, thoughts, concerns, let me know in the comments section below. And as always, thank you so much for tuning into Tom's Gadget Garage. We'll see you next time.